Auction time. This is the 6L series auction, 6L01. This is a northern side notch point, bigger than the usual. Okay, let's see. I'm going to measure from the bottom of the concavity. Well, no, let's do it from the from the uh, ear, bottom of the ear. Six and one eighth inches from the bottom of the concavity is five and three quarter inches. Okay, I made this off camera because I didn't want to break it. It's that banded dacite that's very snap and half-ish. Let's see. I, I think it might be translucent around the edges. A little, just a little bit. And uh, I call it dacite, but it's obsidian, right? But uh, the opaque types of obsidian, I call them dacite. Uh, for the most part, some of the some of the stuff I call black butter, the one that's opaque black. Opaque just means you cannot see through it except on the very edges. All right, so uh, this started out much bigger. Yeah, I think I snapped off some of it, and it does get a little bit crunchy. Yeah, in the middle. <laughs> But uh, I can make these a lot easier off camera. They are expanding notches, right? Expanding. I like this style. Uh, I've got two of these in the auction because I'm practicing on doing these northern types. Yeah, they're different types of northern points like these this is a northern side notch there's another type of northern i forget what it is it's in the book it's in the over street guide all right anyway i sharpened it all the way around by picking at it that's that's the best way to do this easily it's not the best way to sharpen it but it's the easiest way is just to pick at the edge and get all the dull spots off it does still crunch a little bit. What's the better way of doing it? The better way, I think, is just to grind it and bevel it. But I don't see very many beveled obsidian points. Yeah. Although I may be wrong, I hardly see any of, the, any of them beveled. Okay. All right. 6L02, this one's on video. This is heat treated flint ridge. Yeah. Is it translucent? I think it is in some spots. Yeah. Let's let's take a look. I thought the I thought it had a little bit more translucency than that, but I guess not. Anyways, interesting material. I do like it. It kind of reminds me of Novaculite. It's it's a between Novaculite heat treat and uh, Keokuk heat treat. Like Keokuk and Novaculite had a baby and you got Flint Ridge. Yeah. All on video. I didn't modify it at all. Sometimes I modify the points before I put them, on, put them in the auction. Like I sharpen them more or I make the tip pointier or I do something I rearrange or re-chip the base but this is nothing I didn't do anything to it this has no modifications at all just straight from the video it does have that little crack there that goes right through but most of it is healed and I was able to nap right over it see that some of the flakes went right over so it's not too bad but it goes all the way it would have been lethal if that was not healed right there. It would have snapped for sure. But I left it a little bit on a thick side. I tapered the tip as best I could without uh, causing step fracturing. When it, once it gets too flat, it gets very steppy. All right? I ground the base all the way around. Yeah. Okay.
Oh, how long is it? Funny you should ask. It's a little over five inches. 6L03 is another northern point. This time it's a kind of a speckled or I don't know what to call it. Dacite obsidian. It's not transparent. It's a lot like black butter. See, so it's got that little bit of translucency around the edges. That's how you know it's sharp. I sharpened it. It's got thin edges, so it, it'll slice. See, these large northern points, I think they were used as knives. I like them a lot. Five and a quarter, a little over five and a quarter, or five and five sixteenths. And then from the base, it's five inches exactly from the concavity in the base. So yeah, the notches are slightly expanding on this one as well. I like this material, even though it is also hard to work. It's not as crunchy on the edges as the first one. This gray stuff is very crunchy. This one is not too bad. Actually, I like this material better. Even though it's step fractures in the middle more yeah I was having a hard time because it likes to dive the other this other this other stuff doesn't dive as much you can get longer flakes but this stuff I just like it better because of the feel of it it feels more like rock yeah because it's it's not as waxy smooth it doesn't feel like alien stone this feels like it's not even natural it's so slick and uh, highly flexible when you when you remove flakes you can kind of tell the difference this one's a little bit more brittle it'll dive it'll act more like regular rock I guess yeah I suppose I don't know how to describe it but I like it. I, I'm a, I wish I had more of this. I do. I did save all the flakes from this particular nodule, so I'm keeping the flakes. All right. Six L zero four. This one is on video. This is a more of a glossy and darker obsidian dacite than the first one here. It's, these two are very similar as far as the material goes. This one is just a little bit lighter gray than this one. Okay, but it's basically the same material. It has banding in it. This is all on video. Did I mention that? This one is on video, and you, you can see it all. There's no modification before the auction. Whatever you see here, it's all on video. Yep. Yeah, this is very slippery. I was thinking maybe this is not as slippery as the other one. It feels a little bit rougher than this one. It's very similar. Yeah. But this, the smaller one, this one feels rougher a little bit. Okay, so... What did I call this in the video? Corner notch. Uh, Elko corner notch. I think so, yeah. Elko corner notch. Sharpened all the way around. I tried to get nice pop outs for the notches. I don't like I don't like crunched notches. Yeah. Alright, that one came out nice. Is it translucent at all? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, especially near the tip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I tried to thin down the tip a lot, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Last but not least, 6L05 is a box of bifaces and one broken one, I think. Everything in here is a biface except for one. And I broke it. 
And it can be considered a bite face. Yeah, I broke the tip off of this one. Just messing around with a little. I was going to make a uh, cahokia. Yeah. Snap the tip off. The tip was like a reddish brown. And I think it's just a different consistency, so it just snapped off. Yeah. What is the length and width? Three quarter inches wide? No. Seven eighths. Yeah. Inch and three eighths. Yeah. You can still make a little arrowhead out of it. It's raw. I think this is raw Georgia Flint River. Okay. This is also the same batch as this. Uh, I think this is raw Georgia Flint River. If it's heat treat, it's just mildly heat treated. Uh, two and three quarter inches long. Uh, inch and half, inch and three eighths. Yeah, I was gonna make something for the auction out of this one, but no time. Okay, let's get into the obsidians now. No, there's still a piece of Georgia Flint River. This is Georgia Flint River swirl. It's translucent. The other stuff is translucent as well. See that? <laughs> cool. Uh, this one, I didn't like the way it was turning out. Yeah, because I messed up right there. And this is, I think this is raw. Same with those pieces. These, this is from a batch that's raw or lightly heat treated. It napped like it was raw. It, there's no gloss to it. I like the way it naps, except when I make a mistake like that. And I did not want to make it more narrow. I think someone could use it like this. You know, you can sharpen it up and use it as a knife or whatever. But yeah, I consider that a broke, kind of, sort of. I didn't want to mess with that part. Five and a quarter by two and three eighths. Yeah. And uh, this is not a step fracture there. That's just coloration. But there is a step fracture right there. An undetached flake. You might be able to pick that out. I tried to already. You can kind of see there's a little bit of chipping going on there. I tried to pick it out, but it didn't. It didn't do it. Okay. Now the obsidians. This one is fully translucent. There's no other color in there. It's high grade obsidian. Oh, yes. Again, I was going to make something out of this one. I like this obsidian a lot. This is like uh, one step, one little notch higher than triple flow as far as quality goes. Yeah. It's like the best quality, I think, obsidian. This smoky, clear stuff. It's a little bit, for me, it's a little bit boring as far as the color goes, but it's really nice to work. This one is triple flow, I think, or midnight lace, I think they call it, when it's got black streaks in it like this. I think, I thought it had some red streaks. Yeah, I think you see a little bit of red in it. Let's see. There's a little bit of red, so it's triple flow. It's high grade stuff. Uh, three and a half inches long. This one is um, banded. It's the same material as the one that I did on video. This one. Same stuff. See how the, the translucency is the same? Yes, you can see. But this is just a biface. I made these off camera so I can work on them during the week. But no time. Yeah. I gotta take care of my my father, who's who is uh, needy right now. I'm the only one actually that can spare the time to take care of him. So it's it, it, and I'm light late on the auction today too. So you know, I can never tell exactly when I'm going to be able to post the auctions right now. Anyway, this one is a, a silver sheen. Obsidian. Four and a half. Yeah. I was going to nap this into a northern point too. 
but I messed it up right there. I got went, dang it. I don't like it when it does that. I was just about to start sharpening up all the edges, and then that happened. I took one last little flake across there, and it's, it was it's really good because it flattened it right there. It was There was a lump there. But then... It did, it did that. This has some translucency to it. But yeah, it's a, it's a silver sheen, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to thin it any more than this. Just, uh, if I were to receive this, I would just pressure flake it around the edges and maybe put some notches in it. Or maybe, you know, make, put a stem on it so you can make it into a knife, or you don't even need to do anything to it. You could just make it into a knife this way. If you want to. All right. Did I measure it? Four and a half? Is it four and a half? Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's it. Only five items. Okay, these are my cheat notes for the auction. These are rules. These are my cheat notes. There's a better description in the auction in the description box below. And I rewrote and updated the description of the auction in the description box. Okay? So, if you want to read through there, it's probably best if you're new. Okay? Uh, there will be an auction every Monday. Please look at my previous auctions to see how they work. If you are not able to reply or comment, you will not be able to bid, obviously. I can enter your bid for you if you email me. If, you email me. if you're having trouble, my email is jackcrafty2 at gmail.com. Now, sometimes I don't get to the emails quick enough. Uh, like last last auction, someone emailed me early and I didn't see it until like maybe 30 minutes before the end of the auction. Yeah, I apologize for that. The best way to communicate with me is actually through the comment section of the auction itself. Just type in what your issue is. If I don't respond, it means I can't see your comments. Yeah, and then you can email me. Okay? Um... And then hopefully I'll I'll be able to see your your email before it gets too late. Yeah, I got to work on that, and I'm gonna I'm going to monitor my emails more closely. I'm getting a lot more emails these days, but I'm gonna I'm going to monitor it anyway. Let's see. Auction three J has a demo on how to bid. Just in case you want to look at the demo, it's within the the rules section of that auction. I'm pretty sure. Uh, bid in the comment section under one of my pre-populated comments. That's important. Bid under the comment that contains the item number that you're bidding on. Okay? My pre-populated comments will contain the item number, a timestamp where the item appears in the video, and a short description. Yeah, you can hit the timestamp and it'll bring you right to the item in the video, in this auction video. Okay? That helps. So you don't have to watch the whole video or you don't have to uh, move the little red dot down below you just hit the timestamp it'll bring you to the item that you are interested in if you want to do that uh, i will like your comment if i see it very important that's how you know that i'm seeing your comments sometimes however comments are not always visible it may take a while for me to like your comment but as the time approaches the end of the auction i will check more frequently yeah if you if you don't see a like on your comment or your bid uh, type in, did you see my bid? Question mark. And if I don't respond to that either, give me some time. You know, sometimes it takes up to an hour for me to respond or something like that. Then I can't see your bid. If, if you don't see any likes on your comments, I'm not seeing your bids. So you have to try to email me or use your, use someone else's phone or use a computer or something to, to, uh, bid again, to see if that's the problem. Okay. Sometimes comments are not always visible, so change up your device and maybe that'll work. So like and say. Try not to bid at the last minute. Please be aware that I'm using YouTube's time tracker and it's not always accurate. I use the time tracker because it's what everybody sees. Yeah. Uh, try not to bid at the last minute. Also because people get ticked off when you do that. It's called sniping. Okay. Uh, shipping is free in the U.S. Yeah. Free shipping. Yeah. International shipping is discounted, but it's not free. I will add $10 for lightweight package and $20 for heavy packages if you are an international bid winner. I will provide tracking numbers. Oh, yes, always. I accept PayPal, which is the preferred method of payment. 
I also accept Venmo, Cash App, checks or money orders. And I now use PayPal.me. Okay. I'll send you a link. That's what that says, link. Uh, if you only have a card, like a credit card or debit card, then I can send you a link to PayPal.me, and I think it'll work. Okay. Winners will be announced at 9.01 p.m. Eastern Time. I wait a minute until, you know, I wait one minute after the top of the hour. It closes at exactly 9 Eastern Time. It's a hard close. You know, I'll look at the bids and make sure that I'm I'm using YouTube's time tracker to uh, see if I see who is on time. Okay, but it, it closes at 9, and then by the time I check everything, it'll be 9.01, and that's when I start announcing the winners. Okay, now, but pay attention to your time zone because it's different for each time zone. It's 9, 9 p.m. Eastern that it closes, but if you're on Central Time, it closes at 8. If you're on Mountain Time, it closes at 7. If you're on Pacific Time, you're, it closes at 6. Okay, so it depends on your time zone. The auction ends at the top of the hour. Yeah, I said that. Okay, this is a new rule here. Um, you will be notified in the comments section if you are the winner. Yes, but I'll only notify you with a heart on your winning bid. This like thing, this heart thing button, that will be on the winning bid. I mean, I already do this as well. I used to put a little comment that you won in the comment section, but YouTube is cracking down on cut and paste comments, and I don't want to keep typing it out over and over again. So YouTube doesn't like cut and paste comments. If I do two or more, or let's say more than two cut and paste comments, it's, it prevents me from commenting because it's it violates the harassment uh, rules, okay? So I'm just going to put a heart if you win the auction of that particular item, okay? On your winning bid. Please email me your info if you are new. Yeah. Again, my email is jackcrafty2 at gmail.com. All right. Hopefully that was clear. Again, you can read through the rules in the comment section if you like. Uh, you can also ask questions in the comment section of the auction. That's okay, too. All right. Okay. I think that's it. And, uh, yeah, hope you like this week's items, and good luck.